أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ياسين والقرآن الحكيم إنك لمن المرسلين على صراط مستقيم تنزيل العزيز الرحيم لتنذر قوما ما أنذر آباؤهم فهم غافلون لقد حق القول على أكثرهم فهم لا يؤمنون إنا جعلنا في أعناقهم أغلالا فهي إلى الأذقان فهم مكمحون وجعلنا من بين أيديهم سدا ومن خلفهم سدا فأغشيناهم فهم لا يبسرون وسواء عليهم أأنذرتهم أم لم تنذرهم لا يؤمنون إنما تنذر من اتبع الذكر وخشي الرحمن بالغيب فبشره بمغفرة وأجر كريم إنا نحن نحي الموتى ونكتب ما قدموا وآثارهم وكل شيء أحصيناه في إمام مبين واضرب لهم مثلا أصحاب القرية إذ جاءها المرسلون إذ أرسلنا إليهم اثنين فكذبوهما فعززنا بثالث فقالوا إنا إليكم مرسلون قالوا ما أنتم إلا بشر مثلنا وما أنزل الرحمن من شيء إن أنتم إلا تكذبون قالوا ربنا يعلم إنا إليكم لمرسلون وما علينا إلا البلاغ المبين قالوا إنا تطيرنا بكم لئن لم تنتهوا لنرجمنكم وليمسنكم منا عذاب أليم قالوا طائركم معكم أئن ذكرتم بل أنتم قوم مسرفون وجاء من أقصى المدينة رجل يسعى قال يا قوم اتبعوا المرسلين اتبعوا من لا يسألكم أجرا وهم مهتدون وما لي لا أعبد الذي فطرني وإليه ترجعون أأتخذ من دونه آلهة إن يردني الرحمن بضر لا تغن عني شفاعتهم شيئا ولا ينقذون إني إذا لفي ضلال مبين إني آمنت بربكم فاسمعون قيل دخل الجنة قال يا ليت قومي يعلمون بما غفر لي ربي وجعلني من المكرمين 
وما أنزلنا على قومه من بعده من جند من السماء وما كنا منزلين إن كانت إلا صيحة واحدة فإذا هم خامدون يا حسرة على العباد ما يأتيهم من رسول إلا كانوا به يستهزئون ألم يروا كم أهلكنا قبلهم من القرون أنهم إليهم لا يرجعون وإن كل لما جميع لدينا محضرون وآية لهم الأرض الميتة أحييناها وأخرجنا منها حبا فمنه يأكلون وجعلنا فيها جنات من نخيل وأعناب وفجرنا فيها من العيون ليأكلوا من ثمره وما عملته أيديهم أفلا يشكرون سبحان الذي خلق الأزواج كلها مما تنبت الأرض ومن أنفسهم ومما لا يعلمون وآية لهم الليل نسلخ منه النهار فإذا هم مظلمون والشمس تجري لمستقر لها ذلك تقدير العزيز العليم والقمر قدرناه منازل حتى عاد كالعرجون القديم للشمس ينبغي لها أن تدرك القمر ولا الليل سابق النهار وكل في فلك يسبحون وآية لهم أنا حملنا ذريتهم في الفلك المشحون وخلقنا لهم من مثله ما يركبون وإن نشأ نغرقهم فلا صريخ لهم ولا هم ينقذون إلا رحمة منا ومتاعا إلى حين وإذا قيل لهم اتقوا ما بين أيديكم وما خلفكم لعلكم ترحمون وما تأتيهم من آية من آيات ربهم إلا كانوا عنها معرضين وإذا قيل لهم أنفقوا مما رزقكم الله قال الذين كفروا للذين آمنوا أن نطعم من لو يشاء الله أطعمه إن أنتم إلا في ضلال مبين ويقولون متى هذا الوعد إن كنتم صادقين ما ينذرون إلا صيحة واحدة تأخذهم وهم يخصمون فلا يستطيعون توسية ولا إلى أهلهم يرجعون ونفخ في السور فإذا هم من الأجداث إلى ربهم ينسلون قالوا يا ويلنا من بعثنا من مرقدنا هذا ما وعد الرحمن وصدق المرسلون إن كانت إلا صيحة واحدة فإذا هم جميع لدينا محضرون فاليوم لا تظلم نفس شيئا ولا تجزون إلا ما كنتم تعملون إن أصحاب الجنة اليوم في شغل فاكهون هم وأزواجهم في ظلال على الأرائك متكئون لهم فيها فاكهة ولهم ما يدعون سلام 
قَوْلًا مِّن رَّبٍّ رَّحِيمٍ وَامْتَازُوا الْيَوْمَ أَيُّهَا الْمُجْرِمُونَ أَلَمْ أَعْهَدْ إِلَيْكُمْ يَا بَنِي آدَمَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا الشَّيْطَانَ إِنَّهُ لَكُمْ عَدُوٌّ مُّبِينٌ وَأَنْ يَعْبُدُونِي هَذَا صِرَاطٌ مُّسْتَقِيمٌ وَلَقَدْ أَضَلَّ مِنكُمْ جِبِلًّا كَثِيرًا فَلَمْ تَكُونُوا تَعْقِلُونَ هَذِهِ جَهَنَّمُ الَّتِي كُنْتُمْ تُوعَدُونَ إِصْلَوْهَا الْيَوْمَ بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَكْفُرُونَ الْيَوْمَ نَخْتِمُ عَلَى أَفْوَاهِهِمْ وَتُكَلِّمُنَا أَيْدِيهِمْ وَتَشْهَدُ أَرْجُلُهُمْ بِمَا كَانُوا يَكْسِبُونَ وَلَوْ نَشَاءُ لَطَمَسْنَا عَلَىٰ أَعْيُنِهِمْ فَاسْتَبَقُوا الصِّرَاطَ فَأَنَّا يُبْسِرُونَ وَلَوْ نَشَاءُ لَمَسَخْنَاهُمْ عَلَىٰ مَكَانَتِهِمْ فَمَا اسْتَطَاعُوا مُضِيًّا وَلَا يَرْجِعُونَ وَمَنْ نُعَمِّرْهُ نُنَكِّسْهُ فِي الْخَلْقِ أَفَلَا يَعْقِلُونَ وَمَا عَلَّمْنَاهُ الشِّعْرَ وَمَا يَنْبَغِي لَهُ إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا ذِكْرٌ وَقُرْآنٌ مُبِينٌ لِيُنْذِرَ مَنْ كَانَ حَيًّا وَيَحِقَّ الْقَوْلُ عَلَى الْكَافِرِينَ أَوَلَمْ يَرَوْا أَنَّا خَلَقْنَا لَهُمْ مِمَّا عَمِلَتْ أَيْدِيْنَا أَنْعَامًا فَهُمْ لَهَا مَالِكُونَ وَذَلَّلْنَاهَا لَهُمْ فَمِنْهَا رَكُوبُهُمْ وَمِنْهَا يَأْكُلُونَ وَلَهُمْ فِيهَا مَنَافِعُ وَمَشَارِبُ أَفَلَا يَشْكُرُونَ وَاتَّخَذُوا مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ آلِهَةً لَعَلَّهُمْ يُنْصَرُونَ لَا يَسْتَطِيعُونَ نَصْرَهُمْ وَهُمْ لَهُمْ جُنْدٌ مُحْضَرُونَ فَلَا يَحْزُنْكَ قَوْلُهُمْ إِنَّا نَعْلَمُ مَا يُسِرُّونَ وَمَا يُعْلِنُونَ أَوَلَمْ يَرَ الْإِنسَانُ أَنَّا خَلَقُنَاهُ مِنْ نُطْفَةٍ فَإِذَا هُوَ خَصِيمٌ مُّبِينٌ وَضَرَبَ لَنَا مَثَلًا وَنَسِيَ خَلْقَهُ قال من يحيي العظام وهي رميم قل يحييها الذي أنشأها أول مرة وهو بكل خلق عليم الذي جعل لكم من الشجر الأخضر نارا فإذا أنتم منه توقدون أوليس الذي خلق السماوات والأرض بقادر على أن يخلق مثلهم بلى وهو الخلاق العليم إنما أمره إذا أراد شيئا أن يقول له كن فيكون فسبحان الذي بيده ملكوت كل شيء وإليه ترجعون صدق الله العظيم اللهم آمين أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إنا كنا من الظالمين إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيرنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما بقدر عظمة ذاتك في كل وقت وحيم 
اللهم إنا نحستحفظك ونستودعك أدياننا وأبداننا وأنفسنا وأهلنا وأولادنا وأولادنا وأموالنا وكل شيء أعطيتنا اللهم اجعلنا وإياهم في كنفك وأمانك وعياذك من كل شيطان مريد وجبار عنيد وذي بغي وذي حسد ومن شر كل ذي شر إنك على كل شيء قدير اللهم جملنا بالعافية والسلام وحققنا بالتقوى والاستقامة وأعذنا من موجبات الندامة إنك سميع الدعاء اللهم اغفر لنا ولوالدينا وأولادنا ومشايخنا وأصحابنا وإخواننا في الدين ولمن أحبنا فيك ولمن أحسن إلينا والمؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات إنك سميع قريب مجيب الدعوات برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين وصل اللهم على عبدك ورسولك سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم وارزقنا كمال المتابعة له ظاهرا وباتنا في عافية وسلامة برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين يا الله يا الله يا الله ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وأدخلنا الجنة مع الأبرار يا عزيز يا غفار يا رب العالمين ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه يجمعين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله سيدنا محمد رسول الله اللهم آمين آمين آمين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما تقدموا لأنفسكم من خير تجدوه عند الله هو خيرا وأعظم أجرا واستغفر الله إن الله غفور رحيم أستغفر الله أستغفر الله أستغفر الله أستغفر الله أستغفر الله أستغفر الله أستغفر الله أستغفر الله أستغفر الله أستغفر الله أستغفر الله أستغفر الله أستغفر الله أستغفر الله أستغفر الله أستغفر الله 
اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم 
اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما بقدر عظمة ذاتك في كل وقت وحين فاعلم أنه لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله سيدنا محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم 
سيرات الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الذين قال لهم الناس إن الناس قد جمعوا لكم فاخشوهم فزادهم إيمانا وقالوا حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل فانقلبوا بنعمة من الله وفضل لم يمسسهم سوء واتبعوا ردوان الله والله ذو فضل عظيم اللهم يا لطيف ألطف بنا فيما جرت به المقادير اللهم يا لطيف 
اُلطف بنا فيما جرت به المقادير اللهم يا لطيف اُلطف بنا فيما جرت به المقادير وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا علي يا عظيم يا حليم يا عليم أنت ربي وعلمك حسبي فنعم الرب ربي ونعم الحسب حسبي تنسر من تشاء وأنت العزيز الرحيم نسألك العصمة في الحركات والسكنات والكلمات والإرادات والخطرات من الشكوك والذنون والأوهام الساترة للقلوب عن مطالعة الغيوب فقد ابتلي المؤمنون وزلزلوا زلزالا شديدا وإذ يقول المنافقون والذين في قلوبهم مرد ما وعدنا الله ورسوله إلا غرورا فثبتنا وانصرنا وسخر لنا هذا البحر كما سخرت البحر لموسى وسخرت النار لإبراهيم وسخرت الجبال والحديد لداود وسخرت الريح والشياطين والجن لسليمان وسخر لنا كل بحر هو لك في الأرض والسماء والملك والملكوت وبحر الدنيا وبحر الآخرة وسخر لنا كل شيء يا من بيده ملكوت كل شيء كاف ها يا عين صاد كاف ها يا عين صاد كاف ها يا عين صاد انصرنا فإنك خير الناصرين وافتح لنا فإنك خير الفاتحين واغفر لنا فإنك خير الغافرين وارحمنا فإنك خير الراحمين وارزقنا فإنك خير الرازقين واهدنا ونجنا من القوم الظالمين وهب لنا ريحا طيبة كما هي في علمك وانشرها علينا من خزائن رحمتك واحملنا بها حمل الكرامة مع السلامة والعافية في الدين والدنيا والآخرة إنك على كل شيء قدير اللهم يسر لنا أمورنا مع الراحة لقلوبنا وأبداننا والسلامة والعافية في دنيانا وديننا وكن لنا صاحبا في سفرنا وخليفة في أهلنا 
واطمس على وجوه أعدائنا وامسخهم على مكانتهم فلا يستطيعون المضيء ولا المجيء إلينا ولو نشاء لطمسنا على أعينهم فاستبقوا الصراط فأنا يبسرون ولو نشاء لمسخناهم على مكانتهم فما استطاعوا مضيا ولا يرجعون ياسين والقرآن الحكيم إنك لمن المرسلين على صراط مستقيم تنزيل العزيز الرحيم لتنذر قوما ما أنذر آباؤهم فهم غافلون لقد حق القول على أكثرهم فهم لا يؤمنون إنا جعلنا في أعناقهم أغلالا فهي إلى الأذقان فهم مكمحون وجعلنا من بين أيديهم سدا ومن خلفهم سدا فأغشيناهم فهم لا يبسرون شاهت الوجوه شاهت الوجوه شاهت الوجوه وعنت الوجوه للحي القيوم وقد خاب من حمل ظلما طاسين حاميم عين قاف مرج البحرين يلتقيان بينهما برزخ لا يبغيان حاميم حاميم حاميم حاميم حاميم حاميم حاميم هم الأمر وجاء النصر فعلينا لا ينصرون حاميم تنزيل الكتاب من الله العزيز العليم غافر الذنب وقابل الطوب شديد العقاب ذي الطول لا إله إلا هو إليه المصير بسم الله بابنا تبارك حيطاننا ياسين سقفنا كاف ها يا عين صاد كفايتنا حاميم عين سين قاف حمايتنا فسيكفيكهم الله وهو السميع العليم فسيكفيكهم الله وهو السميع العليم فسيكفيكهم الله وهو السميع العليم ستر العرش مسبول علينا وعين الله ناظرة إلينا بحول الله لا يقدر علينا والله من ورائهم محيط بل هو قرآن مجيد 
في لوح محفوظ فالله خير حافظا وهو أرحم الراحمين فالله خير حافظا وهو أرحم الراحمين فالله خير حافظا وهو أرحم الراحمين إن وليي الله الذي نزل الكتاب وهو يتولى الصالحين إن وليي الله الذي نزل الكتاب وهو يتولى الصالحين إن وليي الله الذي نزل الكتاب وهو يتولى الصالحين حسبي الله لا إله إلا هو عليه توكلت وهو رب العرش العظيم حسبي الله لا إله إلا هو عليه توكلت وهو رب العرش العظيم حسبي الله لا إله إلا هو عليه توكلت وهو رب العرش العظيم بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وآله وصحبه وسلم بسم الله والحمد لله رب العالمين أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله لطيف بعباده يرزق من يشاء وهو القوي العزيز يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف 
يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيفا بخلقه يا عليما بخلقه يا خبيرا بخلقه ألطف بنا يا لطيف يا عليم يا خبير يا لطيفا بخلقه يا عليما بخلقه يا خبيرا بخلقه ألطف بنا يا لطيف يا عليم يا خبير يا لطيفا بخلقه يا عليما بخلقه يا خبيرا بخلقه ألطف بنا يا لطيف يا عليم يا خبير اللهم يا من لطفت في خلق السماوات والأرض ولطفت بالأجنة في بتون أمهاتها ألطف بنا لطفا يليك بكرمك ورحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين يا الله اللهم يا من جعلت الصلاة على النبي من القربات نتقرب إليك بكل صلاة سليت عليه من أول النشأة إلى ما لا نهاية من الكمالات بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يسوق الخير إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يصرف السوء إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله وما بكم من نعمة فمن الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يسوق الخير إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يصرف السوء إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله وما بكم من نعمة فمن الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يسوق الخير إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يصرف السوء إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله وما بكم من نعمة فمن الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل صلاة كاملة وسلم سلاما تاما على سيدنا محمد الذي تنحل به العقد وتنفرج به الكرب وتقضى به الحوائج وتنال به الرغائب وحسن الخواتيم ويستسقى الغمام بوجهه الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه في كل لمحة ونفس بعدد كل معلوم لك اللهم صل صلاة كاملة 
وسلم سلاما تاما على سيدنا محمد الذي تنحل به العقد وتنفرج به الكرب وتقضى به الحوائج وتنال به الرغائب وحسن الخواتيم ويستسقى الغمام بوجهه الكريم وعلى اله وصحبه في كل لمحه ونفس بعدد كل ما لوم لك اللهم صل صلاة كاملة وسلم سلاما تاما على سيدنا محمد الذي تنحل به العقد وتنفرج به الكرب وتقضى به الحوائج وتنال به الرغائب وحسن الخواتيم ويستسقى الغمام بوجهه الكريم ريم وعلى اله وصحبه في كل لمحه ونفس بعدد كل ما لوم لك اللهم صل صلاه كامله وسلم سلاما تاما على سيدنا محمد الذي تنحل به العقد وتنفرج به الكرب وتقضى به الحوائج وتنال به الرغائب وحسن الخواتيم ويستسقى الغمام بوجهه الكريم وعلى اله وصحبه في كل لمحه ونفس بعدد كل معلوم لك اللهم صل صلاه كامله وسلم سلاما تاما على سيدنا محمد الذي تنحل به العقد وتنفرج به الكرب وتقضى به الحوائج وتنال به الرغائب وحسن الخواتيم ويستسقى الغمام بوجهه الكريم وعلى اله وصحبه في كل لمحه ونفس بعدد كل ما لوم لك اللهم صل صلاه كامله وسلم سلاما تاما على سيدنا محمد الذي تنحل به العقد وتنفرج به الكرب وتقضى به الحوائج وتنال به الرغائب وحسن الخواتيم ويستسقى الغمام بوجهه الكريم ريم وعلى اله وصحبه في كل لمحه ونفس بعدد كل ما لوم لك ان شاء الله كنتني بذكر جامعه لا اله الا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحه ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله لا اله الا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحه ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله لا اله الا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحه ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله لا اله الا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحه ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله لا اله الا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحه ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله لا اله الا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحه ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله لا اله الا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحه ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله 
inşallah o mektubu ana. Allahümme amin. Euzu billahi mineşşeytanirracim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillahi rabbil alemin. Arrahmanirrahim. Maliki yevmeddin. İyyâke na'budu ve iyyâke nesta'in. İhdinas sıratal müstakîm. Sıratal lezîne en'amte aleyhim. غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما صليت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما باركت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد. Oh Allah سبحانه وتعالى. We pray for our Sheikh, Teacher, Merchant, and Master, Sayyidina Sheikh Faisal Hamid Abdul Razak. Oh Allah, may you increase him in knowledge and wisdom. O oh Allah, may you protect him from evil and we pray that he will lead his marids on the straight path towards you. O oh Allah, we pray for the Shaykh and his family. We pray that you strengthen them in Iman, keep them in good health and grant them long life in Islam. O oh Allah, we pray that you protect them from all evil, ease their trials and grant them the sweetness of paradise. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adhab in nar. O oh Allah, forgive us for our sins and guide us on the straight path leading to paradise. O oh Allah, you know the needs of all of us present here. O oh Allah, answer our dua and take care of our needs. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we pray for our parents that you grant them your grace and mercy as they raise us in childhood. O oh, oh Allah, grant our parents long life and good health in Islam. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, forgive our parents and grant them paradise. O oh Allah, for our parents who have passed away and returned to you, O oh Allah, we beg you to forgive them. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we pray for all the merits of Shaykh Faisal throughout the world. O oh Allah, we pray that you ease our trials and, us, and grant us the strength to face our trials. O oh Allah, make it easy for us to gain true knowledge and to practice it, to be good marids and to get ever closer to you. O oh Allah, you know the needs of all of the marids. O oh Allah, we beg you to answer our, our dua and take care of our needs. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we pray for all the Muslims around the world. O oh Allah, we pray that you strengthen us in Iman. O oh Allah, we pray for unity and to make us stronger as a nation. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, please comfort and relieve all Muslims who are suffering and have suffered losses. O oh Allah, you are the all-powerful and the almighty. O oh Allah, we beg you to give us victory against the unbelievers. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we pray for the International Islamic Forum and al fasl and Dhikr Halaqa. May you make it easy for us to establish many messages for your sake. May you bless the Islamic Forum and al fasl and Dhikr Halaqa to be, a beacon of, to be a beacon of light for Islam throughout the world. And may help us to finish building the new masjid soon and make it easy for us to do so. Wa sallallahu ala sayyidina muhammadan wa ala alihi wa ashabihi yajma'in. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salamun ala al-mursani wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Allahu akbar, Allahu akbar, Allahu akbar. La ilaha illallah sayyidina muhammadun rasulullah. الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبد الله ورسوله اللهم افتح علينا فتوح العارفين ووفقنا توفيق الصالحين وانفعنا اللهم بالقرآن والذكر الحكيم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا من فضلك علما وتعليما يقربنا منك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم لا سهل إلا ما جعلته سهلا وأنت يا حي يا قيوم تجعل الحزن إذا شئت سهلا سهلا 
اللهم أعزنا من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا وأصلح لنا شأننا كله لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين آمين آمين أما بعد My dear respected brothers and sisters, my dear Murids, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. May the peace and blessings of God Almighty be with each and every one of you. And welcome once again to this special program coming to you from the Islamic Forum of Canada, where we share with you this message of mercy from God Almighty to all of His creation. This is our daily broadcast. We start at 7 p.m. Toronto time or Eastern time every day. And we come to you from your Zawiya here at the Islamic Forum. We thank you for joining us today for our broadcast. And we hope you can join us every day for this program, 7 p.m. Toronto time. We kindly request you to reach out to others, to tell your family members, your relatives, your friends, and other Muslims that you know to watch the program. Share the YouTube link with them, uh, youtube.com forward slash Sheikh Faisal. Uh, and inshallah, they will look at the program. They will benefit and you will receive increased blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do remember to subscribe to the channel. Uh, there is a subscribe uh, button. Uh, you click on that button to subscribe and then next to the subscribe button there's a bell icon click on the bell icon and select all for notifications so that you'll be notified of all our different programs we also kindly request you to enter your information in the chat your name and city where you're from and then your updates on the three projects uh, the gratitude project the salawat project and the Quran project. Uh, you enter your update on, on the project, inshallah, the three projects. May Allah SWT bless you for so doing. Uh, we want to recognize all the sponsors for the dinner program, uh, all those uh, families and especially sisters that have sponsored the dinner program. May Allah SWT bless all of them. And we want to recognize as well all our donors, those who donated today and yesterday and before to the Islamic Forum, and we make special dua for them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all our donors. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answer the dua uh, and grant them special blessings and ni'mah and bounties and grace, uh, our donors and their families and loved ones. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them and increase them in his bounties, increase them in, in his risk, uh, grant them more wealth, much more than what they donate to the Islamic Forum. So we make special dua for all our donors and we thank them and we appreciate their financial support for the Islamic Forum. I also want to remind you what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned in the hadith, ma naqasa malin bi sadaqa your wealth will never decrease because of spending it in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ma naqasa malin bi sadaqa. The sadaqa that you give will never cause your wealth to decrease. It will increase your wealth. And this, the scholars have said that uh, you, you, your wealth doesn't decrease. It means indeed, certainly, Surely your wealth will increase. This is a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ma naqasa malin bi sadaqa. This is what the Prophet says in the hadith. And the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the ayatul infaq, the ayah of spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Lan tanalul birra hatta tunfiku mimma tuhibun. You will never attain true piety, birr. Unless and until you spend what you love, you spend a portion of your wealth for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And, and so we 
invite you to donate regularly and generously to the Islamic Forum and we make special dua for you. I also want to reassure you that your safety, your well-being, your health, uh, as well as your spirituality, that's the concern of our program. This program uh, focuses on taking care of your safety, your well-being, your afia, as well as your spirituality, that you can be in good health and you can be safe and you can, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, protect you from all sources of harm. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants you that great blessing of spirituality, your connection with him, your connection with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And so every day we, we uh, make this special dua for you, for your safety, your spirituality and so on that uh, you can be uh, granted the goodness of this world and the goodness of the hereafter. The, and that's the comprehensive dua for the believers that's mentioned in the Quran. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adhab al nar this, this is a comprehensive dua. It's called a dua al jamia the comprehensive dua, because it contains Everything you can ask for to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's contained in this dua, the comprehensive dua. We also have a special series of beautiful short video clips uh, prepared by our staff here at the Islamic Forum for your uh, viewing enjoyment and benefit. Short video clips uh, of interesting, relevant, beautiful topics that you can benefit from and you can share with others. As well as we have a special series of videos, video lectures on the seerah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And all of that is a gift for you, free of charge. It's, it's for anyone, inshallah. So if you would like to re receive uh, these special video clips and a special series of seerah lectures, then please send us your email address so we can send it to you, insha'Allah. Uh, the uh, beautiful video clips and video lectures that we, the, our staff uh, have prepared especially for you. I would like now to make a special dua for each and every one of you. Dua for all our donors, those who donated today, yesterday and before, all our donors without exception. And then special dua for the sponsors of our dinner program. And then special dua for all those who entered their information in the chat. And for each and every one of you, uh, I want to make special dua for each and every one of you. Whatever dua you want to make to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, put that knee in your heart for that dua and we'll make uh, dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala based on your knee that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can accept your dua and grant you everything you ask for. And also, I want to include in my dua uh, for my family uh, and my parents, my mother and my father. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them and please do mention them and remember them in, in your dua. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you for so doing. So kindly raise your hands and join me in dua. Allahumma ameen. A'udhu billahi sami'il alim min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi rahman rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yawmiddin Iyaka Nabudu Wa Iyaka Nasta'een Ihdina Sirat Al-Mustaqeem Sirat Al-Ladheena Namta Alayhim Ghayru Al-Maglubi Alayhim Walad-Dalin Ameen Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin Abdika wa Rasulika Nabiya Al-Ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim tasliman bi qadri azamati thatika fi kulli waqtin wahim. La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inna kunna min al-zalimim. Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala al-Nabi Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika al-Nabi al-Ummi Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim tasliman bi qadri azamati thatika fi kulli waqtin wahim اللهم إنا نستحفظك ونستودعك أدياننا وأبداننا وأنفسنا وأهلنا 
وأهلنا وأولادنا وأموالنا وكل شيء أعطيتنا اللهم اجعلنا وإياهم في كنفك وأمانك وعياذك من كل شيطان مريد وجبار عنيد وذي بغي وذي حسد ومن شر كل ذي شر إنك على كل شيء قدير اللهم جملنا بالعافية والسلام وحققنا بالتقوى والاستقامة وأعذنا من موجبات الندام إنك سميع الدعاء اللهم اغفر لنا ولوالدينا وأولادنا ومشايخنا وأصحابنا وإخواننا في الدين ولمن أحبنا فيك ولمن أحسن إلينا والمؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات إنك سميع قريب مجيب دعوات برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين وصل اللهم على عبدك ورسولك سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم وارزقنا كمال المتابعة له ظاهرا وباتنا في عافية وسلامة برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ودخلنا الجنة مع الأبرار يا عزيز يا غفار يا رب العالمين ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله سيدنا محمد رسول الله اللهم آمين آمين آمين May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase us in tawfiq and in kubul and in ziyada آمين آمين I also want to remind you of our ongoing projects uh, the action item we have ongoing for our program, uh, the three projects, the gratitude project, the salawat project, and the Quran project, uh, for you to engage in these projects regularly on a daily basis, and then you enter your update in the chat, inshallah. Today I want to say something about the salawat project, to focus on the salawat project, to talk something about the beautiful, amazing virtues of salawat on the Prophet sallallahu alaihi to recite Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabiyyil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim Many are the great virtues of salawat Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals in the Quran the ayah of salawat in Surah Al-Ahzab chapter 33 verse 56 where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi Ya ayyuha alladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima Allahumma salli wa sallam wa baraka ala Sayyidina Muhammad Yes, many are the great virtues and blessings and benefits of reciting salawat on the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam among them, the Prophet ﷺ mentioned these in the hadith. When you send one salawat on the Prophet ﷺ, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends ten salawat upon you. Look at the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You send one salawat on the Prophet ﷺ, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends ten salawat upon you. 
when you send one salawat on the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Allah subhanahu wa taala grants you ten hasanat, ten good deeds are recorded for you when you send one salawat on the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. When you send one salawat on the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, ten sayyiat, ten bad deeds and sins are erased from your records. So you're forgiven. And then the, that uh, bad deed is erased from your records, never to be heard of about in the dunya and in the akhirah, especially in the akhirah and the day of judgment. And when you send one salawat on the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Allah subhanahu wa taala elevates you ten degrees higher. You're raised up ten degrees more closer to Allah subhanahu wa taala. Such indeed are the great benefits and blessings of salawat on the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. In addition to that, your your du'a is accepted by Allah subhanahu wa taala when you precede your du'a with salawat and you end your du'a with salawat. So you sandwich your du'a in between salawat, as we do in our du'a all the time. So at the beginning, hamd and salawat, then make whatever du'a you want to make, and then salawat and hamd at the end. In this manner, it's from the adab of du'a that your du'a, and when you do it like this, your du'a is accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because the du'a of salawat, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad, you're saying, that du'a of salawat is guaranteed acceptance by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when it's placed before and after whatever du'a you want to make, it, it raises up your du'a to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It elevates your du'a to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It takes up your du'a to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it is accepted in that way. And, and then the salawat grants you nearness to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa on the day of judgment. He says in the hadith, أَوْلَى النَّاسِ بِيَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ أَكْثَرُهُمْ عَلَيَّ صَلَاةً The closest of people to me on the Day of Judgment, the nearest of people to me on the Day of Judgment are those who are most frequent in reciting salawat upon me. This is the great blessing of reciting salawat on the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yes, you get closer to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Uh, the hadith speaks of the, the, the day of judgment, but even in this dunya, you get closer to the Prophet every time you recite salawat on the Prophet Closeness in the dunya, closeness in the akhirah. How close do you want to be to the Prophet and to his noble Ahlul Bayt and to the Sahabas, the awliya? Yes, how close you want to be to the Prophet You answer that question and then you decide how much salawat you want to recite on the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam? Because every time you're reciting salawat, you're getting closer to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Imagine yourself on the day of judgment, and there are billions of people there, and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is in the center on the on the the, the, the the beautiful carriage, the most beautiful carriage you'll ever see, uh, tied to the burak. That's the carriage of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He's holding. Liwa ul hamd, the banner of praise that, uh, that he's given on that day of judgment, making him uh, demonstrating that he is the leader of everything and everyone on that day of judgment. He has your prophet says, how close do you want to be to him? Wouldn't you like for, for, for you to be close to him? You can see him and he can see you. Are you close to him? You can see him. You can see the Ahlul Bayt on, on that on that carriage with him, the prophetic entourage, uh, Sayyidina Fatima the Zahra, Sayyidina Ali al Murtada, Sayyidina Imam Hassan, Sayyidina Imam Hussein, and so on. Ahlul Bayt, they were the Prophet. So you, of course, we would love to be close to him. And every time you recite salawat, you're getting closer to the Prophet. So I want you to recite salawat as much as you can as part of this salawat project. Every day you recite your salawat on the Prophet sallallahu And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and honor you to be able to recite salawat on his most beloved Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ameen, ameen, ameen. Wa sallallahu ta'ala ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim wa salatu wa salam wa ala sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in amma ba'd 
I want to share with you today this wonderful opportunity to gain much blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentions in the hadith, مَا نَقَسَ مَا عَبْدٍ مِنْ صَدَقَةً The wealth of a person will never decrease because of spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Meaning that your wealth will increase when you spend in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when you engage in infaq fi sabilillah. Your wealth will increase. And so the opportunity for you to increase your wealth greatly by spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The opportunity I want to share with you is uh, for our live stream broadcast. This broadcast that you who have been watching, uh, many of you every day, many of you several times a week. Uh, the, the daily broadcast we have at 7 p.m., the Jumma broadcast at 1 p.m. on Fridays, uh, the special programs, the special maulids, halakas, uh, and so on. So many different programs we have. And many people are benefiting from this program, as you know, many brothers and sisters like yourselves, families from many different countries are benefiting from the live stream broadcast. And we need to acquire new equipment and to update our equipment we have that we are using for the live stream broadcast. And there are several items we need. And the first one I want to share with you today and to appeal to you for this, it's the camera. We need to get a new camera. And the budget for the camera is $6,000. Uh, they, uh, our, our wonderful staff here at Islam Forum, they've done their research uh, in this matter. And so we need to acquire that camera uh, and the cost is $6,000. And we hope you can uh, donate towards uh, this project. We've divided that amount into shares of $100. And so you can donate one share of $100 or five shares, which is $500, or 10 shares, which is $1,000, or more, whatever you can afford, and whatever blessings you would like to receive from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To make your donation, uh, you can go to our website, Islam Forum website at islamicforumonline.com. And then on the donation page, uh, you would see uh, one of the buttons for the different categories of donation labeled live stream equipment. It's the second button in the list of uh, categories for donation. So you click on that button, live stream equipment, and you would make your donations for this specific uh, cause that we are appealing to you for. Uh, we, we hope you can respond and respond generously uh, immediately by donating as many shares as you can each year being $100 and the total amount we would like to raise for the camera it's $6,000. This is the first item we need and there are several items. We would let you know once we collect the money for the camera we would go on to the next item and we let you know the details about that. So uh, do respond and respond generously and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. Once again the Prophet says ma naqasa malin min sadaqa that the wealth of a servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never decreases because they spend in the way of Allah. Their wealth will only increase. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them increase in their wealth. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless your entire family and all your loved ones because of your financial support for the Islamic forum. Ameen. Wa sallallahu ta'ala ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبد الله ورسوله 
اللهم افتح علينا فتوح العارفين ووفقنا توفيق الصالحين وانفعنا اللهم بالقرآن والذكر الحكيم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا من فضلك علما وتعليما يقربنا منك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم لا سهل إلا ما جعلته سهلا وأنت يا حي يا قيوم تجعل الحزن إذا شئت سهلا سهلا اللهم أعزنا من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا وأصلح لنا شأننا كله لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين آمين آمين أما بعد My dear respected brothers and sisters I greet you all with the greetings of Islam Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu May the peace and blessings of God Almighty be with each and every one of you. And welcome to our special series of lectures on the sacred month of Dhul Qaeda. I take this opportunity to extend to you special Mubarak greetings for the coming of this sacred month of Dhul Qaeda. Praying that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless each and every one of you and shower his bounties and mercies and forgiveness upon you in this special sacred month of Allah, Dhul Qaeda. Dhul Qaeda, it's one of the four sacred months in the Islamic year, the Ashhurul Hurm, uh, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals in the Quran, in Iddata Shuhuri, Inda Allah Ithna Ashara Shahran. Verily, the number of months with Allah are twelve, since the day He created the heavens and the earth, and He has uh, decreed that four of them are sacred. Uh, and Dhul Qaeda is one of the four sacred months in the Islamic year. It is also the beginning of a special three-month period of time. Dhul Qaeda, a sacred month, followed by Dhul Hijjah, another sacred month, followed by Muharram, the third of three uh, sacred months that come consecutively one after the other, three months together. All of them are sacred months. So it's a special period of time, Dhul Qaeda. Uh, and one of the implications of the sacred month is that your good deeds are rewarded with more blessings, more thawab, more rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So therefore, a time to strive to do more good deeds for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Dhul Qaeda, it's also from the month of Hajj, the three months of Hajj, Shawwal, Dhul Qaeda, and Dhul Hijjah. And so, at a time like this, the beginning of the month of Dhul Qaeda, the pilgrims, Hujaj, from all over the world start descending, traveling to Mecca and to Medina to uh, start their uh, performance of the rituals of Hajj. The actual days of Hajj are the beginning of Dhul Hijjah, the next month, but uh, traditionally for the past 14 centuries, uh, pilgrims would start preparing for Hajj and start traveling to Mecca. For, and uh, they can start the rituals of Hajj from the month of Shawwal and Dhul Qaeda. So this month is a, it's a very busy time now for the pilgrims as they arrive in Mecca. And, and Mecca becomes very busy. Medina becomes much busier than the rest of the year because of Hajj. So Dhul Qaeda is one of the month of Hajj as well from among its great virtues. And so the pilgrims, the Hujaj, Hajjis, 
would arrive, let's say, in Mecca, if they go in force to Mecca, and they would be required to perform their Umrah, uh, the Umrah which is connected to the Hajj. It can be uh, the, the Umrah or it can be specifically the, the Tawaf of Hajj. If, depending on which of the three types of Hajj that they are performing, Ifrad, Qiran, or Tamattu'ah. The most popular one is Tamattu'ah. And so uh, those are usually the, the pilgrims that are going earlier to spend more time in Mecca. If they go to Medina, then they would go for Ziyarah to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the greatest Ziyarah in their entire life. And they would give salams to the Prophet Sallallahu and they would spend time in Medina and they would visit uh, the great personalities that are buried in Medina, uh, such as the Shuhada, shuhada the, the martyrs of Uhud, uh, the leader among them, uh, Sayyidina Hamza, uh, Sayyid Shuhada, the master and leader of all the martyrs of Islam. They would go to Janatul Baqiyah, the cemetery in Medina, next to the Masjid of the Prophet ﷺ, Masjid Nabawi, where they have the largest number of Sahabas that are buried, uh, the largest number from the Ahlul Bayt of that time, and so on. That was the cemetery in Medina, and all those who died were buried there in Medina. Uh, and to take the opportunity to give much salams to the Prophet ﷺ, his maqam is in the masjid, next to him Sayyidina Abu Bakr, Siddiq radiallahu anhu, next to him, Say, uh, Sayyidina uh, Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu in this way and then they would proceed to, to Mecca. In Mecca now, they would perform Umrah in this month of Dhul Qa'da and then uh, after they finish their Umrah which uh, includes the Tawaf al Qudum, seven rungs around the Kaaba, and then the Sa'i between Safa and Marwa, seven rungs as well, and then uh, clipping their hair or shaving their head. They would come out of the first state of Ihram, what is called at Tahallul al Awwal, uh, and they can take off their Ihram garments, the two white towels, and wear regular clothing. B but the uh, the major uh, restrictions, conditions of the Ihram remain. Uh, and then they would wait until the 8th of Dhul Hijjah to resume their state of Ihram again to do the rituals of the Hajj. So all of that's happening now in this month of Dhul Qa'dah and so it's called one of the month of Hajj as well. And it, it, the literal meaning of Dhul Qa'dah, Qa'dah means amongst them to, re to rest. And so the Arab tribes used to stop fighting when this month set in and they would stay at home resting, uh, from resting from fighting that is. And because it's a sacred month and even this, this behavior, this practice predates revelation, predate, predates the, the revelation of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Before then they would still observe uh, the sacredness of the, the, the, this period of time, this three month period of time, Dhul Qa'da, Dhul Hijjah, Muharram. And so that's one of the meaning, a time, a time of rest from war that they would usually engage in if they are waging war against anyone. So uh, the, the meaning of the month that we should be mindful of. Uh, so once again, it's a special opportunity for for everyone to do much good deeds for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this sacred month of Dhul Qa'da that I want to remind you to try to do as much as you can. There are certain adab of the month of Dhul Qa'da that I want to share with you that you should strive to do. Firstly, to perform ghusl at the beginning of this sacred month of Dhul Qa'da. To perform ghusl which is a complete ritual bath that you would do um, and this is to achieve physical purification and as a result of achieving physical purification you hope to achieve spiritual purification so it is it is good to do this to, to uh, as part of welcoming this month of uh, dhul qada that you you want to 
be physically pure and you do ghusl for that purpose as a way to welcome the month of Dhul Qadr. And the tasawwur, the mental visualization, is uh, doing this to achieve physical purification. And that you pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant you spiritual purification in this sacred month of Dhul Qadr that uh, you want to be mindful of. And this is an important concept in Islam. The connection between physical purification and spiritual purification. So for example, you want to perform salah, then you must be uh, in a state of tahara to be physically pure. So you do wudu. And if you uh, are in a condition that you need to do ghusl, then you do ghusl. But you must be tahir, you must be in a state of tahara in order to do uh, perform your salah, if not, this salah is not valid. As the Prophet Alayhi mentioned in the hadith, La salata liman la wudu alahu. That if, you do, if you're not in a state of purity, in a state of wudu, then your salah is not valid. It's, it's, it's, it's a requirement for the validity of salah, you, to be in a state of wudu. The connection between physical purification and spiritual purification. And it is the, the, the state of Tahara, it's from among the munjiyat, among the things that grant you success, that brings blessings to you. You want to maintain that state of physical purity at, at all times as much as you can. Because then the barakah, the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descend upon you, flow down upon you, because you're in a state of Tahara. So, uh, you want to do this for this sacred month of Dhul Qadr in this way. And the tasawwur, connecting your physical purification to your spiritual purification. You want to strive to achieve spiritual purification in this month of Dhul Qadr. The next thing uh, we want to recommend for you to do is to perform two rakat nafil salah to welcome the sacred month of Dhul Qadr. So this you do at the beginning of the month, uh, on the first night of the month, the first day of the month, in, in that way, or as soon as possible. Uh, as soon as you hear these instructions, try to implement it immediately. To perform two rakat of Nafis Salah. To welcome the sacred month of Dhul Qadr, to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless you in this month of Dhul Qadr, to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless the month of Dhul Qadr for you. There are two, two important concepts, to, to, to bless you in this month of Dhul Qadr and to bless the time for you, to bless the time of Dhul Qadr. Let it be a blessed time to, to prevent calamities from descending on you and let only barak and blessings descend on you in this way. And we, we request you to also, if possible, include in your niyyah of that two rakat of salah to bless uh, the Islamic Forum, the Zawiya, uh, to bless our new masjid project, to bless our tariqah, all the activities of the Islamic Forum. If it's possible, we request you to include that in your knee as well as you perform this two rakat salah to welcome the uh, month of Dhul Qadr. The two rakat of Salah, uh, the recommendation in terms of the recitation in the Salah is that in the first rakat you perform Surah Fatiha followed by Surah Al Kafirun. And in the second rakat you perform Surah Al Fatiha followed by Surah Al Ikhlas. That's one way to do it. The second way is in the first rakat to perform uh, Surat al-Fatiha and then Surat al-Qadr. Inna anzalnahu fi laylat al-Qadr. And in the second rakat, Surat al-Fatiha followed by Surat al-Ikhlas. If you have memory Surat al-Qadr, this is a good thing to do. That the, the, the, the special salah that you're doing, the two rakat nafil salah, to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for these things. 
your tasawwur once again that uh, you welcoming this month of Dhul Qadr. When you treat the month of Dhul Qadr in this special way, this unique way, distinctive way, then you would find, see, your blessings are multiplied in the month of Dhul Qadr. Uh, and and to to pray for the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descend upon you this month to play, pray that the, the month be blessed for you these beautiful things that you do in uh, it, in, in the month of Dhul Qadr as soon as possible the first night or the first day or as soon as possible thereafter the next thing we want to recommend for you to do is to organize a special maulid in the month of Dhul Qadr, the nightly maulids for Dhul Qadr, because it's a special time and you want to do this. And the best way to do this is to be part of the live stream broadcast we have every night, 7 p.m. Toronto time. The wherever you are, wherever you are in the world, you want to try to be part of that program. Uh, to part, and that's the maulid, the nightly maulid, because we do Quran recitation, we do dhikr and dua, we have the uh, different projects we talk about, and then a special lecture for th that uh, night, uh, that daily broadcast that we are having, that you should be part of. So it's an easy way for you to observe the maulid majlis, the special maulid for the month of uh, Dhul Qadr that you want to be mindful for, of, inshallah. So this is one of uh, the, the important uh, suggestions we want to request you to do. The next point I want to mention, or, or for, for this particular point as well, uh, the nightly maulids that you should do, try to invite other Muslims you know especially those you're close with, your family members, your relatives, your friends, so they can be part of the nightly maulid for this sacred month of Dhul Qadr. This is a special time. So you, they can join with you in looking at a live stream broadcast that we have every, every evening, 7 p.m. Toronto time. And then uh, the next point I want uh, to mention to you is to arrange maulids for the awliya, the great personalities who passed away in this month of uh, Dhul Qadr. And we would be doing this as part of our daily broadcast throughout the month of Dhul Qadr. And also mentioning the names of the different individuals, the different awliya, the different the great personalities of Islam that uh, they, they, their hours or howl, their commemoration, uh, Yamul Wilada or Yamul Wisal, the, the day of birth or the day of their passing, uh, those who pass away in the, this month of Dhul Qadr, to remember them and honor them, to arrange those special maulid. For, for those of you that have time differences with Toronto, our program, our maulid starts at 7 p.m. Toronto time. But if you're living in different countries that you have major time differences, especially in the East, uh, countries in the East, in the Middle East, in Africa, in Asia, and so on, then you can arrange the separate maulid. You, you, you try to attend the 7 p.m. broadcast as best as you can, and then whatever time is convenient for you, you attain, the, you, you achieve or, or arrange the dhikr majlis for you to, to, to invite others to be part uh, of the nightly dhikr majlis for the month of Dhul Qadr. And after we finish our daily broadcast at 7 p.m., we continue throughout the night and throughout the day uh, with the majlis of Dhul Qadr that you can be part of no matter what time difference you have. I want to share this with you that you can uh, try to do as much as you're able to do in this month of Dhul Qadr. The other point, or the next point I want to share with you is that this month of Dhul Qadr is a time for you to prepare for the special days of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The special days of Allah that are coming soon. And the Prophet alayhi salatu mentioned about this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
reveals in the Quran about this. In Surah Al-Fajr, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals Wal-Fajr walayalin ashr wal-shaf'i wal-watr. Uh, referring to special uh, time uh, in the month of Dhul Hijjah. So now in Dhul Qa'dah, it's a time to prepare for those great days of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam says, مَا مِنْ أَيَّامٍ الْعَمَلُ الصَّالِحُ فِيهَا أَحَبُ إِلَى اللَّهِ مِنْ هَذِهِ الْأَيَّامِ There are no days in which good deeds are more loved by Allah than in these days. These special days of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that are coming soon upon us. So you, you want to prepare for it from, for, from now by doing much good deeds for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, as, as much as you're able to, to do special good deeds for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, such as your dhikr. You want to try to do more dhikr in this month of Dhul Qadr, the Weird Al Am Dhikr in particular. Uh, before we told you that you should do this twice a day, once in the morning, once in the evening. But now in Dhul Qadr, try to get some more time to do it even more often. Three times a day, four times a day. The more you do, the more blessings you receive from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Many are the great virtues of dhikr that you should do. Your salah, in addition to your fard salah, which is the most important thing, you want to try to do as much sunnah and nawafil salah as you can in this sacred month of Dhul Qa'da. Your siyam, you want to do uh, as, as much fasting as you can do in this month of Dhul Qa'da. Your recitation of Quran, you want to do as much as you can do in this blessed sacred month of Dhul Qadr. You're in fact, you're spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the charity, the donation you give. You want to try to do even more in this month of Dhul Qadr because it's a sacred month of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that your blessings are multiplied more and more. That these are some of the wonderful good deeds that you can do in this month of Dhul Qadr. There are some important events in our history that took place in the month of Dhul Qadr. I share with you from the fifth year after the Hijra, year 5 AH. This is after the Hijra when the Prophet made Hijra from Mecca to Medina. So in the fifth year of the Hijra, a battle took place between the Muslims and the Quraysh and others who supported the Quraysh. This is the Ghazwatul Khandaq or also called Ghazwatul Ahzab took place in this month of Dhul Qadr in the fifth year after the Hijra corresponding approximately to March 627 AD to April 627 AD. Ghazwatul Khandaq, the Battle of the Trench, it means. It's one of the names. The two popular names, Ghazwatul Khandaq, Battle of the Trench, and Ghazwatul Ahzab, Battle of the Confederates. It's called Battle of the Trench, Ghazwatul Khandaq, because the Prophet and the Sahabas dug a trench on the north side of Medina from which they can defend themselves, defend the city of Medina from the attacks of the Quraysh. So because of that trench, a huge trench that was dug from one side of the mountain, on, this is the north boundary of Medina, one side on a, from the beginning of one mountain to the next mountain on the other side, that huge trench that they had to dig. And the, the, the place in, in Medina, where that incident took place and that battle took place, uh, it's still there today and it's visited. It's, uh, today it's called Sabal Masajid, uh, the site of the seven masjids, which are still there today. Uh, each masjid named after 
the Sahaba uh, who was in charge of that particular uh, battalion or group of Sahabas. And they were, uh, the women Sahabiyya were among them as well, including uh, Sayyidah Aisha, Rajallahu Anha. And then the, the, the, the great senior Sahabas, Sayyidina Abu Bakr, for example, Sayyidina Omar, that are there. So in previous times, they had the, the, uh, the seven uh, masjid, small masjids that were there. In recent years, they've demolished those masjids and they've constructed one huge masjid to accommodate everyone so that everyone can go and pray there in that masjid in comfort now. Uh, but the place is known where the khandak, uh, the, the trench was dug uh, in that area that you can, you can see the place, not the trench that's filled now, um, but that place is still. So it's, it's, that, it's called Ghazwat al-Khandak. And then Ghazwat al-Ahzab, another name for the same battle, the Battle of the Confederates. Because Quraysh joined together, joined together in a pact with different tribes uh, to attack the Muslims. And th this was a, a dangerous thing. This is the third battle that took place. Uh, the previous one was forces Ghazwat uh, al-Badr and Ghazwat al-Uhud. The Battle of ba Badr, the Battle of Uhud. And then the third one, Ghazwat al-Khamdaq or Ahzab. So the Confederates, Ahzab, uh, because of the coalition forces that were there to, to, de to defeat the Muslims, to kill the Muslims, destroy them. And uh, Surah Al-Ahzab, a surah in the Quran, is named because of this battle. And it talks much about uh, what took place. It was a dangerous situation for the Muslims because they were non-Muslim tribe from uh, Medina. They were still in Medina from Bani Israel, the uh, Jewish tribes that were still there that joined in a pack with the Quraysh in this battle. So there were enemies outside the Quraysh attacking the Muslims in Medina, but then inside Medina there were also uh, people who were uh, trying to fight the Muslims or committing treason against them because they, they had a pact with the Prophet before this. They had a treaty that they would not fight the Muslims and uh, they wouldn't join with the enemies of the Muslims to fight the Muslims. And in return, the Muslims grant them safety to live in Medina to be there. But they committed this act of treason by joining with the Quraysh to fight against the Muslims. So Ghazwat al-Ahzab and khandaq took place in this month of Dhul Qadah. And that's why we're mentioning it. Inshallah, uh, we pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us tawfiq to do a full a lecture on the, this Ghazwat al Khandaq or also called Ghazwat al Ahzab because there are many great lessons we can learn. Uh, it took place in this uh, sacred month of Dhul Qadah. Also, another event which took place the, the following year, in the sixth year of the Hijra was the, the Sulh al hudaybiyyah the Treaty of Hudaybiyyah. In the sixth year, the Muslims left Medina to go to Mecca to perform Umrah. And the Quraysh did not allow them. The, the Muslims stopped at Hudaybiyyah, and the Quraysh, the Hudaybiyyah on the outskirts of Mecca. I mean, from Hudaybiyyah, they can see Mecca in the distance. Uh, they stopped there and they started negotiations with the Quraysh, but the Quraysh uh, stopped them from, prevented them from entering Mecca. And because the Quraysh were strong then, Muslims couldn't do much. So they returned back to Medina empty-handed after signing the treaty, Sulh al hudaybiyah the Treaty of Hudaybiyah. This took place in the sixth year after the Hijra. And this event, Hudaybiyah, occurred in this month of Dhul Qadah. So this month is such a special month, Dhul Qadah, that uh, we want you 
to be mindful of. So you can observe this month in a special way. Feel the special virtues of this month. Understand the significance of these great events that took place in the month of Dhul Qadha. Uh, and after this treaty was signed, um, Hudaybi, and on the surface, it seemed as if it was against the Muslims. And really, when you, when you, from a human perspective, human logic, looking at the conditions of the Treaty of Hudaybi, it's against the, the Muslims, but the Prophet accepted it because he knew uh, more uh, of what Allah subhanahu wa intended. And then on the return back to Medina, even before arriving in Medina, Allah subhanahu wa revealed to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Masood al-Fat, Inna fatahna laka fathan mubinan. Verily, we have granted you the greatest of victories. And no one could understand that. How could this be the greatest of victory when the Muslims could not even perform Umrah, couldn't enter Mecca? They returned empty handed and they're so sad and dejected. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows He's planning. The Quraysh are planning, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also planning. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informs the Prophet وسلم, that he, he, is, he has granted him the greatest of victory. Inna fatahna laka fathan mubinan. This Sulh al Hudaybiyyah, Treaty of Hudaybiyyah, took place on the, in the month of uh, Dhul Qadha in the sixth year of the Hijra. Also, at the same time, a great event which took place as part of the Hudaybiyyah uh, series events is that the Pledge of Allegiance was given to the Prophet. Bayatur Ridwan, Bayatur Ridwan, a great event. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, describes it in the Quran. The Pledge of Allegiance, the Bayah, that was given by all the Sahabas to the Prophet under that tree, Tahta Shajara, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals in the Quran, took place under that uh, tree where the Prophet sat down and all the Sahabas lined up and one by one they came and they made Bayah to the Prophet to defend Sayyidina Uthman ibn Affan. This was the main reason because Sayyidina Uthman ibn Affan was sent by the Prophet to Mecca to negotiate with the Quraysh. And then the news came back, or rumors actually, that the Quraysh had killed Sayyidina Uthman ibn Affan because his return was delayed. So after he's staying uh, some days in, in Mecca, the, the Prophet is worried, the Sahabas are worried that one of the greatest Sahabas, Sayyidina Uthman, is now returning. And then rumors came that the Quraysh killed him. It proved to be wrong later on. He wasn't killed. Uh, but the, in that situation, the Prophet ﷺ took the Pledge of Allegiance, took the Bayah, so that now they're willing to defend the honor of Sayyidina Uthman ibn Affan if it means uh, going to war with the Quraysh because of what they did. So that event, Bayt Ridwan, took place in the month of Dhul Qadha, in the sixth year of the Hijra. Also in the month of Dhul Qadha, in the seventh year of the Hijra, the Prophet and the Sahabas returned to Mecca to perform what's called Umratul Qadha. Umratul Qadha, a great event. Uh, they came back because that, that's one of the conditions of the Treaty of Hudaybiyyah that they would come to Mecca the following year and Quraysh would leave Mecca for three days and allow the Muslims to uh, come to the Kaaba and to perform uh, their Umrah, Umrah al Qadha it is called, to make up for the Umrah that they could not perform the previous year. So this took place in the seventh year uh, of the Hijra of the Prophet ﷺ from Mecca to Medina. Seven years after, they performed Umrah, and it took place also in the month of Dhul Qadha. Dhul Qadha. And the next year, in the eighth uh, of Dhul Qadha, in the eighth year of the Hijra, Hajj, the revelation of Hajj came down and making Hajj incumbent on the Muslims. And what a great event it was indeed. These are, in summary, some of the great events of the month of Dhul Qadha I want to share with you today as we talk about the importance and the virtues of the month of Dhul Qadha uh, so that we can understand something about this great month. 
and what it means for us. The most important virtue is that it is a sacred month of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we should strive to do as much good deeds as we can do in the month of Dhul Qa'ada. And uh, inshallah, in our other lectures in this series, we'll talk more about the month of Dhul Qa'ada. And then throughout the month of Dhul Qa'ada, we'll have the special uh, Maulid Majlis, the Maulid of Dhul Qa'ada every night uh, at 7 p.m. Toronto time as part of our daily broadcast for you to be part of, for you to organize gatherings in your home, invite your neighbors and uh, relatives, friends, family members to be with you in your home so you can look at the 7 p.m. broadcast and participate in the special daily majlis and maulid for the month of Dhul Qaeda. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you in, a month, in this special month of Dhul Qaeda. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shower his bounties and mercies and forgiveness upon each and every one of you, upon all of us, and upon this entire Muslim ummah in this special sacred month of Dhul Qaeda. Wa sallallahu ta'ala ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in wa akhi da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Inshallah, we'll continue with the Kirchamia. La ilaha illallah, Muhammadun Rasulullah, Fi kulli lamhatin wa nafasin adadama, Wasi'ahu ilmullah, La ilaha illallah, Muhammadun Rasulullah, Fi kulli lamhatin wa nafasin adadama, وسيعه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسيعه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسيعه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسيعه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسيعه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسيعه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسيعه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسيعه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسيعه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسيعه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسيعه علم الله أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وبعد. Once again, 
Assalamu alaikum and welcome to our uh, continuing broadcast on this uh, special night tonight, special day. We are uh, tonight, Thursday night, uh, the night of Jumu'ah, so a special night indeed. And also, it is uh, the first night for the blessed sacred month of Dhul Qa'ada. And so today, in today's lecture, we talked about the significance of Dhul Qa'ada. Uh, we mentioned the meaning of the name Dhul Qa'ada, where it gets its name from this Islamic month. And we mentioned as well uh, some of the important events which uh, took place uh, in this month of Dhul Qadda, very important events in our history. And uh, this month is one of the uh, four sacred months in our Islamic year. And it's the beginning of a special period of time. Uh, a special period of time and uh, firstly uh, the uh, beginning of the three month uh, the sacred month Dhul Qadda, Dhul Hijj and then Muharram coming together three month consecutively following uh, one another for the special period of time and then also it is uh, from the month of Hajj there are three months of Hajj, Shawwal, Dhul Qadda, Dhul Hijjah. Um, and so traditionally at this time, in this month of uh, Dhul Qadda, which is starting tonight, uh, the Hujjaj, the pilgrims would proceed to Mecca or Medina uh, to perform their Hajj. And so we, we talked about that in our lecture tonight. So it's a special time and you, you want to try to do as many good deeds as you can in this month of uh, Dhul Qadda because the blessings for your good deeds are multiplied in uh, this month. So uh, do be mindful and inshallah uh, we would continue to talk uh, more about Dhul Qadda and about the different events. We mentioned a summary of events uh, tonight in this first lecture for on, on the virtues of Dhul Qadda and we hope inshallah to continue doing so in, in this blessed month. There are uh, several requests for dua that we want to include them in dua. Uh, and we also want to uh, make special dua for the sponsors of the dinner program tonight. Uh, the, uh, the Murids of the Thursday Halakha, uh, sponsoring the dinner program tonight. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them, including uh, C.D. Imran Durani, C.D. Mikhail Sattar, uh, for their sponsorship of the dinner program tonight. We make do of all of them, all the Murids in the Thursday Halakha, and all the families that are sponsoring the dinner program uh, in this uh, special month of Dhul Qadda now. Uh, may Allah bless them. And the requests for dua, including from Sister Roxana Begum, Brother Muhammad Yaqub from the city of Chelem in Pakistan, Sister Abid and Sister Shamila from United Kingdom, Brother Ahsan Shabir from Italy, we make dua for them. Um, and this, this week has been a, a very busy week uh, with respect to uh, Janaza. Uh, we mentioned uh, two of them so far. And uh, then uh, the, the another one again, uh, Sister Margaret's son passed away. Sister Margaret is one of the uh, lead volunteers here at the Islamic Forum. She does a lot of hard work for the Islamic Forum. Uh, her, her son, Brother Shazir Rahman, uh, passed away uh, 52 years of age. Uh, we want to make special love for him tonight. And for those of you uh, from Islam Forum, 
uh, especially like the sisters and so on, you know Sister Margaret, uh, please uh, call her and convey condolences. Inshallah, tomorrow at Juma'a, uh, she will be here, Sister Margaret will be here uh, to receive uh, ta'ziyah, condolences from, from whoever uh, would like to do so. And this is from the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu to express uh, ta'ziyah, condolences to the family of the deceased. So her, her son, 52 years of age, passed away. Uh, he has his own family and so on. Uh, we pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect them, grant them sabr in this to come and make, make things easy for them. And for Sister Margaret as well, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for her on the passing of her son. Um, so tomorrow once again at Juma, uh, she will be here uh, for those who would like to come and meet her and to express condolences and give ta'ziyah. Uh, um, and also tomorrow for Juma, and this is for those who are in the GTA area, the Greater Toronto area, within commuting distance of the Islam Forum, you're able to come to the Islam Forum tomorrow for Juma, uh, because as of tonight midnight, the restrictions would be eased. Uh, we would be able to accommodate at up to 15% capacity. So. Uh, you can come tomorrow and the uh, uh, start for Juma is uh, 1 p.m. Inshallah, or on our broadcast, our live broadcast would start uh, at that time, 1 p.m. Every Friday throughout the year, Inshallah. And uh, the, the Juma goes uh, until 2.15 p.m. We finish our Salah then. So do come, come on time, Inshallah. Uh, and the same uh, precautions and so on, you have to take, bring your own prayer mats. Uh, your mask, uh, you, when you're in the masjid, wear your mask, inshallah, come with wudu uh, and so on. Um, and when you come into the masjid, they have uh, hand sanitizer locations for you to use them, inshallah. And then the, the volunteers will receive you, first of all. You will register at the entrance and then uh, the, the ushers would take you into the masjid here and uh, put you at the designated spot, inshallah. Once we're filled, we close the door, and when we finish Juma, everyone leaves, we take the next batch in for the next Juma. But only the first Juma is uh, broadcast from 1 p.m. So uh, for those of you who pray with us online, make sure you come on time, inshallah, so you don't miss Juma. Uh, every week people would come after 2 p.m. and, and so on, 2.30, and we finish Juma. They want to know if, they, if there's, uh, uh, what time Juma is starting. Well, it finished already. It started 1 p.m. So do be mindful about that. And please tell others, family members, relatives, and friends, uh, so that they can join us. Where, wherever you are, whichever country, uh, city you're in, you do that. Uh, you can pray Juma with us online. And those who are within commuting distance of the Islam Forum, you can come here and pray to us physically. Uh, 1 p.m., the Juma, Juma program starts every Friday. Also, um, this, this week, the, we had another janazah, uh, Brother Muhammad Ali, 45 years of age, uh, the son of Sister Shamima Baksh passed away. Uh, and we did janazah here, and we did the burial at uh, Brampton Memorial Cemetery, not too far from the Islam Forum, right here in Brampton. Uh, so we continue to make dua for Brother Muhammad Ali. And then uh, my aunt, her name is uh, Aunt Sheila, she passed away as well. Uh, we want to make dua for her, and please make dua for her, inshallah. We also want to remember the uh, Muslim family uh, that were killed in the terrorist attack in the city of London, in Ontario, in Canada. And London, uh, that city is about two hours west of Toronto. Um, and in the tragic event that, uh, that you know, has been much in the news, uh, look, the, the, the national news in Canada as well as international news. Uh, a lot of the major news outlets have been carrying the, this tragic event uh, which took place in London 
um, a terrorist in his vehicle uh, run down a family, a Muslim family that was walking, uh, strolling on the road and killed four members, the grandmother, uh, mother and father, husband and wife, and their daughter. And the, the youngest child, the son, uh, he was injured uh, but survived uh, the attack, attack. Four of them were killed. So very sad event indeed. We want to make special dua for them. And uh, tomorrow, Jum'ah, we'll also make special dua for them as well. Alhamdulillah. Um, I, I want to uh, recognize some of our donors, uh, those who donated today, yesterday, and before, and to make dua for all our donors. Among those you want to recognize, Brother Brian Ibrahim from Pembroke Pines in Florida for his donation to the Islamic Forum. Sister Zalina Tour and family for their donation to the Islamic Forum. Sister Brenda Williams from Harlem, New York, for a donation to the Islamic Forum. Siti Sarwat Anwar from Plano in Texas, in the United States, for her donation to the Islamic Forum. Sister Rihanna Amirullah and family from Maple, for their donation to the Islamic Forum. Dr. Tahir Chowdhury from Connecticut in the United States, for his donation to the Islamic Forum. Brother Farhan Siddiqui and family for their donation to the Islam Forum. Sidi Yusuf Khan for his share for the new Masjid project. May Allah SWT bless him and enrich him many more times. Brother Gulam Khan and family for their donation to the Islamic Forum. Sister Carol Shira from Austell in Georgia in the United States for their donation to the Islamic Forum. Brother Abdullah Hasnain and family for their donation to the Islam Forum. Brother Jamil Muhammad and family, we thank them for their donation. Sister Bibi Muhammad from Markham for their donation to the Islamic Forum. Uh, Sidi Naim Ali from Mississauga for his donation to the Islamic Forum. Sister Farheen Warsi and family for their donation to the Islam Forum. Sidi Khatul bin Zamanuddin from Seattle, Washington for their donation to the Islam Forum. Brother Farzam Farooq and family for their donation to the Islamic Forum for the new Masjid project. You see Bibi Ibrahim from Pembroke Pines in Florida for a donation for the new Masjid project. This is Shaniza Khan and family for their donation to the Islam Forum. This is Fazila Hanif, this is Sharmila Hanif for their donation to the Islamic Forum. Uh, this is uh, Bibi Farida, Babs and Umar from Pembroke Pines in Florida for their donation to the Islamic Forum. These are some of the names that we want to recognize today to make dua for them and for all our donors, inshallah, may Allah SWT bless them. And we want to welcome everyone in the chat as well and make special love for them for making that extra effort. At the top of the chat, there's some important messages from the uh, staff. Please uh, go through those messages so you can respond accordingly, inshallah. We welcome at the top of the chat today, this is Bibi Farida Chan and Brother Sama Chan from Miami, Florida, United States. Welcome, and today recited 600 salawat and completed chapter, four, chapter 42 of the Quran Project. Siti Halima Ali from Brampton, welcome Siti Halima. Uh, Sister Hafiza Hamid Ali, Brother Abbas Ali from Pinal in Trinidad, welcome. Sister Chandra Haq, Brother Nizam Haq and family from Scarborough, welcome. Siti Riham Islam from New York City in the United States, welcome Siti Riham. Siti Shamir, Siti Samir, Siti Shabir, Siti Amir, Siti Shazia, Siti Sadika, Siti Alima. All from Queens, New York, United States. Welcome to all of you. Alhamdulillah. City Riham says, Thank you, Sayyidina Sheikh Faisal and admin staff for your khidmah. Your hard work does not go unnoticed. I have no words to show my gratitude, but all you can do is make dua. I pray that Allah bless you. Alhamdulillah. Thank you very much. I'm much appreciated for your nice uh, feedback. 
and may Allah bless you more. And Sidi Riham also wishing uh, Eid Mubarak greetings on this last day of Shawwal, inshallah. And then from tomorrow, well, tonight also, Juma Mubarak greetings and also Dhul Qaeda Mubarak greetings. Uh, Siti Halima, this is Halima Khan from Markham, says salam to all. Great program. Thank you, thank you for sharing so much knowledge. Always looking forward to your daily lectures and your advice. May Allah bless you always. Sheikh Faisal, alhamdulillah. Sidi Mahmoud Al Hassan from St. John's, Newfoundland. Welcome, Sidi Mahmoud Al Hassan. Thanks for joining us. May Allah bless you. Uh, Sidi Rashad, Usman Ali, and family from Brampton. Welcome to all of you. Alhamdulillah. And we make dua for Shifa Sidi Rashad. May Allah uh, heal you, give you speed recovery. Uh, as quick as possible, make special law for you. Uh, Sister Bibi Farida, Babs and Omar from Pembroke Pines in Florida, welcome. Wishing Juma Mubarak to everyone. Grateful to share another blessed evening with a live stream broadcast. Excellent, Alhamdulillah. Brother Mohammed Ibrahim, Sister Bibi Ibrahim from Pembroke Pines in Florida. Grateful for Sheikh Faisal and the blessed programs, alhamdulillah. Sister Ruksana Begum and family from Brampton, welcome. And Sister Ruksana recited from Surah Al-Ahzab to Surah Zumar, Ayah 75. And 2000 Salawat today, very good, alhamdulillah. Brother Muhammad Yaqub and family. From Pakistan, from the city of Chelm, Pakistan, we make door for your brother and for you and your family as requested, alhamdulillah. Sister Bibi Zamina Razak from Cotton Tree Village, West Coast Barbies in Guyana, South America, welcome. Sister Razia Khan, Brother Tariq Feroz from Scarborough, welcome. Sidi Rahim, Sidi Rihanna, Sidi Bibi and family from Presal, Halaka in Trinidad in West Indies, welcome. Sidi Malana Tariq, Al Faisal, Sidi Karina, Al Faisal from Curep in Trinidad in West Indies, Wish, wishing everyone Jumma Mubar greetings, alhamdulillah. Sister Abed and Sister Shamayla from Manchester, United Kingdom. Uh, welcome, thanks for joining us. And Sister Abed and Sister Shamayla recited five Jews of the Quran today and re recited 25,000 salawat today. Very good, alhamdulillah. Uh, brother Keith McDonald, Sister Ulam, Brother Juan from Toronto, welcome to all of you. My dad is here, Al Haji Imam Abdul Hamid Abdul Razak. Welcome, Dad, we make special love for you, Alhamdulillah. Siti Edwina Hussein, Siti Zurida, Sizali Hussein from Penal in Trinidad and West Indies, welcome to all of you, Alhamdulillah. Brother Bilal Alexander, welcome. Uh, please and the city and country where you're from. I think United Kingdom, but do rem remind us, inshallah. You can type into the chat now. City Ashan Bakas, City Felicia from Quarantine Barbies in Guyana, South America. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. So, Brother Bilal Alexander says from Columbia, South Carolina, in the United States. Uh, welcome, dear brother Bilal Alexander. Thanks for joining us. We hope you can join us every day, 7 p.m. Toronto time, inshallah. And then tomorrow, Friday, 1 p.m. for the Juma broadcast. And please tell others you know that they can join us as well. Brother Muhammad Siddiq and family from Brampton, welcome. Says thanks for all these uh, nice lectures. Alhamdulillah. Sidi Naim Ali from Mississauga, welcome, Sidi Naim. Thanks for joining us. Sister Bibi Jamila Wahab from Toronto, welcome. Sister Zinatul Beg and family from Brampton, welcome. Sidi Ilyas Ahmed from the city of Dimapur in India, welcome. Sidi Ilyas, uh, thanks for joining us all from India. And do uh, remember to tell the other Murids that they can join us as well, inshallah. And Sidi Naim, Naim Ali says, Sidi Naim says, recited two pages from Surah Al-An'am, completing the f eight Jews of the Quran. Very good. 
Brother Emery Birgul from Istanbul, Turkey. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. You open join us every day, 6, 7 p.m. Toronto time. So you'll, you'll be mindful about the time difference between Toronto and Istanbul in Turkey. Sister Bibi Rasul and family from Etobiko. Welcome, Sister Bibi Rasul. Says she, thanks for having these programs. Alhamdulillah. We make do for you and your family is requested. Uh, my daughter, my son, are here. Sayyidah Fatima Abdul Razak and Sayyid Ismail and Grandma Jam, my, my mother in law here from Brampton. Welcome to all of you. May Allah bless all of you. Alhamdulillah. Sidi Munawar, Ali, and family from Brampton, welcome. Wishing Jumma Mubarak to everyone. Read four pages of the Quran today, up to Sultan Maida, verse 120, and recited 200 salawat for a total of 13,300 salawat. Very good, Sidi Munawar, Alhamdulillah. Sister Shireen Jabbar from Scarborough, welcome, Sister Shireen. Thanks for joining us. Siti Riham Islam from New York, wishing Dhul Qaeda Mubar greetings to Sayyidina Sheikh Faisal and to the admin staff. Shukran, may Allah bless you. Alhamdulillah. Sister Shamin Subhani from Balmain in Kuva in Trinidad in the West Indies. Welcome, Sister Shamin Subhani and entire family. And do remember to tell other Muslims about the program. They can join us every day, 7 p.m. And then Juma 1 p.m. every Friday, Toronto time, inshallah. See the Sabiha Qadir, see the Kamran and Sar from Columbus, Ohio, in the United States. Welcome. Uh, Brother Ahsan Shabir and family from Italy. Uh, we make, make the offer you and your family is requested. Alhamdulillah. Sister Bibi Afroz Bimson from Orlando, Florida. Welcome, Sister Bibi Afroz. Thanks for joining us. See the Zahid Ihsan. From San Diego in the United States. Uh, welcome, C. Zahid. Uh, C. Design Ali from Brampton. Welcome, C. Design. Uh, C. D. Azam and, and City Hafiza Hussein and family from Brampton. Welcome. Alhamdulillah. And C. Design says Quran project up to Sud al Ahkaf, Salwat project, 200 today. Alhamdulillah. C. D. Fazal and family from Brampton. Welcome. And Siti Riham says, uh, thank you, Sayyidina Sheikh Faisal, for the amazing lecture about Dhul Qaeda. Alhamdulillah. May Allah increase you in blessings and barakah. Siti Aliya Khan and family from Ottawa. Uh, welcome, Siti Aliya. Thanks for joining us, inshallah. Sister Liz Mandel and Brother Jose Raiz from Scarborough. Uh, welcome to you. Uh, alhamdulillah, thanks for joining us. And Siti Riham wishing Jumma Mubar greetings to Sayyidina Sheikh Faisal and the admin staff. Alhamdulillah, very nice. May Allah bless all those in the chat. And we request all of you to take uh, a few seconds and enter your name every day in the chat, the city where you're from, and your response to the different projects. Inshallah. So we would uh, make our dua now for all the requests for dua. We had uh, several janaza uh, this week uh, that kept us busy. Subhanallah. Uh, this is sometimes it's like this. You, you don't have uh, any janaza for a long period of time. Then you have so many of them at the same time. Brother Muhammad Ali who passed away, his janazah was this week here at the Islamic Forum. Um, Imam Ghayazuddin Muhammad, and the father of Imam Salahuddin and Imam Ismail. Uh, also, uh, my aunt, Aunt Sheila, passed away as well. And then Sister Margaret's son, Shazir Rahman, passed away. So several janazah this week. We make do of all of them. Inshallah. And as I mentioned, the uh, special door for the family, the Muslim family in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, uh, that were murdered in that act of terrorism by that terrorist. Uh, and we make special law for the family and for all the, the four family members who passed away. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them Jannah. 
so make dua. And then the sponsors for today's uh, dinner program, the admin staff, uh, sorry, the Murids of the Thursday Halakha that sponsored the dinner program tonight. Make special love for them. Uh, and especially C.D. Imran Durani and C.D. Mikhail Sattar, our Murids that are sponsoring the program. And we include in Doha all those who are sponsoring the dinner program for the month of Shawwal that's ending tonight and then for the month of Dhul Qadr, the sacred month of Dhul Qadr that's beginning tonight, inshallah. And then for all our donors, we make Doha for them. So please raise hands and join me in Doha. I recite Fatiha in Doha with the knee of Kabul. Allahumma ameen. Rabbana taqabal minna, Rabbana bisiri al-fatiha, bismillahi rahmani rahim, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, ar-rahmani rahim, maliki yawmiddin, iyaka na'abudu wa iyaka nasta'een, ihdina al-sirat al-mustaqeem, sirat al-lazina an'amta alayhim, غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين آمين آمين May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase us in tawfiq and kubul and ziyadah Remember the special instructions we shared of the things you should do for this month of Dhul Qada that has started tonight so do be mindful so you can follow up on those things, inshallah. May Allah bless you. And uh, we, we have, in addition to the lecture on the YouTube channel, we have uh, many posts on the Facebook page, the Sheikh Faisal Facebook page, with this information as well. May Allah bless you. Uh, we want to thank you for being with us tonight. Uh, we hope you can join us every night. Uh, 7 p.m. Toronto time. Then tomorrow, remember, Juma, 1 p.m. the broadcast starts. So uh, come join us online, the same link, the YouTube channel, and please tell everyone you know to pray Juma with us wherever they are. And those who are within commuting distance in the GTA, Greater Toronto area, they can come to the Islamic Forum. Tomorrow we have increased capacity. The government has eased the, res the restrictions a little. So 15% capacity, we, we have many people we can take, inshallah. So all of you can come for Juma tomorrow, 1 p.m. The Juma starts at 1 p.m. And then also Sister Margaret will be here uh, to receive condolences uh, on the passing of her son. Her son passed away, so she'll be here for that purpose, inshallah. You get a chance to meet her, uh, inshallah. So, and, and finally, do remember the special Juma appeal tonight. Tonight is the night of Juma'ah, Laylatul Juma'ah. So, uh, once you finish your program now, please go to our website, islamformonline.com. The staff will put that link uh, in the website, uh, in the chat, inshallah. So, you can go to the website, islamformonline.com, and click on the Juma appeal button and make your Juma donation. We hope you can make a, a generous donation today. And then there are several. Uh, other categories of donation there, whichever one you want to do, you can do inshallah and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase you in, in your wealth, in your risk and barak and blessing, accept your dua for you, your family members, your loved ones because of your donation to the Islamic Forum. Uh, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you profusely for your financial support of the Islamic Forum. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep you always in the shade of His mercy until we meet again. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu.